Hello everyone, today we're going to be checking out another dead strip mall. Um, but this one has something really special here that we're going to go check out. Come with me. So we are here in Paulsboro, New Jersey. And this building we're looking at is a former Kmart, which later became an Ames. And as you can see, it's, it's fenced off, so I don't know how close I'm going to be able to get to it. But it definitely looks like an old Kmart. Very run down, and it looks like they are in the process of uh, dismantling it. Not sure what exactly is happening, if they're just going to straight up demo it, or if they're going to do something else with it. But it's really, really cool looking. So I'm going to sneak back here a little bit. I know I'm not supposed to. Just get a look at that. Let's see what's actually going on back here. So it looks like they're demolishing this building. The whole backside of it's gone. So yeah, this was a former Kmart and then later in Ames. Let's get a look at this parking lot. So now there's something special here in the parking lot. It is the last standing photo mat here in New Jersey. Let's go get a look at this. So this is a photo mat building. And for those of you who don't know, photo mat was a drive up kiosk where you could come and drop off your film and have your pictures developed. And then you could come back later and pick it up. So yeah, you know, back in the, back before all the digital cameras and everything, we actually had to take pictures on film and have them developed. It's so crazy to think back that that wasn't all that long ago. But this is the last photo mat. And these were a pretty popular chain all across the United States, I believe. And they used to have these distinctive roofs here, which were sort of like a pyramid shape. And I think they were painted like yellow or orange. And this is where you would drive up and drop off your photos. And I wonder what was here. Maybe there was like a little, probably a, probably a board that had info about like the pricing and things like that. But just check this out. Now let's take a look at this abandoned building here. This was most definitely a Rita's Italian Ice. You can tell by that awning. You can even st still see some of the remnants of it. Let's take a walk over here. See if we can get a look inside Rita's. Oh, Rita's is so good. Looking pretty foul in there, if I do say so myself. Oh, we can see the sign for it. Oh, they call it Rita's Water Ice. So we're down in South Jersey, close to Philly. And up north where I live, um, we call it Italian Ice. I guess down here they call it Water Ice. And the wind is knocking some stuff around. Ooh, it is foul in here. Yeah, so there's like old tires and stuff in there. It is in bad shape. So, short video, um, I was hoping I'd be able to see more of the uh, Kmart, but you know, it's fenced off, so there's only so much I can do. But seeing this, uh, this photo mat like this, it just, it's a relic of a forgotten time. It's really cool to come and see something like this, and I hope you had fun coming. <laughs> okay, so I know when I went to the Paulsboro photo mat, I said it was the last one standing in New Jersey. Turns out I was wrong about that. There's actually two more, one in Marlboro and one in Freehold. We're gonna go check them out today. Um, right now we're at the one in Marlboro and I can see it just up ahead and it is in remarkably good condition. Let's go like take a look at this one. Okay, so this one, it is in really good shape and we're actually gonna be able to get a look inside of it. One thing I noticed though, is that they have these built-in planters on each side, which I just think is a really cool touch here. Let's get a look at the photo mat. So it's a pretty small place. Could you imagine having to work in one of these? I don't think I would be able to do that. I would get claustrophobic. I, I don't think I would be able to handle more than an hour in one of these. And another thing is that they did not have any restrooms, so 
if you needed to use the bathroom, you had to go find like a local store or something to go and do it. We can see like this this little board here, which they must have had like pricing and stuff like that on it. Yeah, and, and just these cool little built-in planners. I just think that's so neat. And we have the sort of pyramid-shaped roof. Roof. This is just really cool to see one so well preserved like this. Okay, so this last photo mat is here in Freehold, New Jersey, and it actually still has an operating business inside of it. Okay, so here we can see an old photo mat has been converted into a watch repair stand. I won't go too close because I do believe there is someone in there and there's cars waiting to drop off their watches, but it's pretty cool that they were able to repurpose one of these and make a new business in it. Um, I would think something like um, watch repair, that's also something that's kind of going to be obsolete, much like uh, photo developing, but I guess I'm wrong. There's two people waiting for it. And there you have it, the last remaining photo mat kiosks here in New Jersey. Now, if you happen to know if there's any more or maybe others in nearby states that I can go check out, please let me know. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. And, okay, so I lied. I have one more I want to show you. Um, this one is now a cell phone repair kiosk. Let's go check this one out. Okay, so here at this shopping center in Newton, New Jersey, we have another little photo kiosk, which is now a cell phone repair kiosk. And I find that kind of funny because, you know, the cell phone, the smartphone, it's really supplanted the film camera as the, um, you know, everyday picture taking device. You know, not too many people do film nowadays. It's kind of a niche thing and just everybody takes uh, pictures with their cell phones. And this one looks a little bit different than the photo mat kiosks we've seen before. So I think this may have been um, a different company's version of a photo mat. I, I tried to find out more about this one. I couldn't really find out, but there were alternative brands to photo mat. I think there was something called like Photo Hut and Fox Photo. So this may have been one of those, but it's still pretty cool to see. And it's good that they're still using it for something and that there's an open business inside of it. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, there you have it. Thank you for joining me for a look at some of the last remaining photo mats here in the state of New Jersey. Thank you for watching.